Hey folks, John Thompson, Spring Framework Guru here. So today I want to talk about OSX. OSX is a Mac platform, it's something that I develop on. I went to uh, OSX in around 2009. And to be honest, what happened at that time, uh, just prior to that, a few years prior to that, my ex-wife was in school and I was a, a diehard Windows fan. Uh, used that for, for years. And uh, I went out and bought a new laptop for, for my wife, ex-wife going to school. And at that time, Dell had just come out with a new laptop and the specs on this laptop were just phenomenal. It, it, it was, the CPU was way faster than what I had, um, just blew things out of the water uh, from, from my current laptop. So I, I thought it'd be a good, good laptop for her. And then my laptop was aging and I looked at the specs on this being a nerd and I was like, I need a new laptop. And I ordered it the week that Vista came out. And what a disaster this was. I, I tried using Vista for about three weeks and gave up. And I, I completely, because it was so slow as a pig, um, I was looking at the specs on this laptop and it should have screamed compared to my old system, which was running Windows XP. So um, I switched over. Uh, I reformatted the drive, put XP on this new new laptop, and I was right. It did scream. With Vista, Vista was a, an absolute pig. The way Dell loaded it up, it just to, to boot up, it was consuming uh, two gig of memory. So it, 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 just the OS was consuming a ton of resources and uh, made it effectively unusable for me. I, I, the performance wasn't acceptable to it. So I went back to XP. Uh, much lighter Windows operating system, but still XP has all its flaws. It's an aging UI. In 2009, I got my first Mac. And what it uh, appealed to me for OS X is uh, I'm an old, old school Unix guy and OS X actually runs a, a flavor of Unix underneath the covers. So I had this nice lightweight UI uh, to work with. And under the covers, I, I had uh, full-blown Unix and all, all the Unix tools. Now, it, it is an Apple version of Unix. So th there are some significant differences over uh, different Unix operating systems. But overall, you do have the, the power and stability of Unix. I've had uh, my Apple systems have been up over 180 days. And the only time I rebooted them was because I had applied some patches and needed a system restart. I never saw that type of uptime with, with OS X. So in 2009, that's when I got my first OS X box. Um, back then, there, there was a lot, a lot of stuff that you had to, to monkey with as far as the, the world was still fairly tied to Windows. Now, jumping forward, it's now uh, January 2016 when I'm recording this. And I'm on my fourth or fifth MacBook now. Uh, I have a 2013 MacBook Pro Retina loaded out and it has been the fastest machine i've ever had uh, it's got a solid state drive in it got it loaded up with 16 gig of memory and this is what i use for development and i effectively wait for nothing uh, even though i don't have the fastest cpu in the world osx gets out of the way allows me to do my development and if you doing java development you know it's not light especially on memory requirements. You pull up the ID, that's not going to take up a chunk of memory. You might be running a database, and then you're going to deploy it to Tomcat, and your memory grows and grows and grows and grows. And if you happen to have uh, Firefox and Chrome open, uh, Firefox especially just seems to be an absolute memory pig, and occasionally a CPU pig, pig too. It seems with Firefox, especially after a, a few days of running, I have to just shoot it in the head and restart it. And then things go back to normal. It has gotten better lately, but I think that's more of a quirk of Firefox, not of OS X. And I've had this debate a, a couple times with, with developers that are on Windows. And they're like, what can you do with Win Windows? Or what can you do with OS X that you can't do with Windows? Well, my immediate response is SSH. Well, there's putty for that in Windows. Well, that's an, another third-party program that you have to get. That's just one example. OSX is Unix 
which if you're in Java development, you're probably going to be working with a lot of Linux servers in today's day and age. So you're going to be SSHing into boxes. You're going to be using SCPs. So a lot of the Unix tools are right there. They're already built into a OS X. You have them. You don't, it's not third party build ins that you have. And being a, a Unix operating system, versus Windows is not a pig. It's not a resource pig. OSS has a very, very nimble footprint, which is something I like about it. It's very lightweight. It gets out of the way of what you're gonna be running on the OS, not for all the pretty graphics and crap that Windows has. Another thing I, I like about OSX is the user interface is very low friction. It's a, a light, lightweight interface. The, the the graphics are nice. Uh, I'm getting a little dated now, I'll, I'll admit that. But generally, it's low friction. On Windows, when you want to log in, you have to go to the keyboard, hit Control Alt Delete, and then click into the pass uh, login password field. OS X, I've opened up my laptop. The cursor's already in the field. I type in my password and hit Enter. Boom, I'm on. So just little things like that. That the little less friction is something I really like about how. Apple designed OS X. It's easy and it's rock solid for development. I've never had any weird issues with OS X. Uh, had, 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 yeah, I've had a crash here and there, but they are far and far uh, between. Windows, I, I've never had a Windows system stay up more than uh, 20 days, 21 days or so. Uh, I, I routinely go months without rebooting my, my MacBook. And it, it doesn't need it. It just keeps keeps running. It's like a Linux box. My web server for Spring Framework Guru has been up over a year now. So Linux platforms just just run. They just run and run and run. It's said that the World Trade Center towers came down on Unix servers that hadn't been booted for a decade. So um, this type of operating system is extremely stable, and this is why I use it.